Hi everyone, welcome. Hi. Hello, thanks for coming in guys. Hi Abby and Leslie. Hi guys. Hi Shannon and JJ. We just, like literally, there is hailstone outside my window right now. Um, the moment I pushed the start streaming button, it started. There was hail and then all of a sudden, uh, I all just started falling. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome Linda. Hello. Hello guys. Hi Crystal, Nicole, Nick and Tina, Marissa, Pippa, Michelle, Dusty, Beck, David, Marissa, Tia, Helen, Jane. Hi guys, welcome. I've got heaps of new ones today. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh. It's so loud. Oh, let me just take a picture of it. <laughs> Outside my window here. Oh my goodness. It's a rain. It's Halen. Look at this, guys. This is outside my window. <laughs> Look at that hail. <laughs> Goodness me. There we go. This is outside my window. That's all hail on the ground there. <clears throat> it's just calmed down again now. But oh my lord. <laughs> It just pelted down. Hi, Pippa. Welcome. I'm in uh, Victoria, so uh, in the southeastern suburbs. And uh, as you can see, it's pouring. Oh, my gosh. If my power goes out, I do apologize, guys, but I will try and get back to you as soon as I possibly can, of course. Uh, we have issues with power outages here when we have storms, so, uh, yeah. Yeah. But today, oh look, I've got my little black kitty. Look how pretty and shiny he is. Wow. And uh, my little beanie boo. He's got the cutest name. His name's Echo. How cute is he? I've got some candy because, you know, well, it's not really candy. It's chocolate. I don't eat candy that much. But i got some Kit Kat here. And I've also got my cup of tea. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. I got rid of Shadow. She, uh was annoying me. No, not really. She decided to go off and hide in her room. I was uh, started on another Ennis witch uh, just before and uh, she would not leave me alone. She wanted to colour with me. So uh, made a great big mess. Did you hear? Did you hear the thunder? Uh, yeah, you'll be getting it very soon, lovely Linda. <laughs> it will not be long. Um, I took a photo before I'm doing, this is just the start of the image of course, but this is Shadow sitting on my desk while I was trying to colour. Uh, she was trying to get in my way and would not leave me alone. But she finally did. <clears throat> she finally did. Hello, welcome guys, welcome. Newcomers, welcome, come in. Um, now, I <laughs> stayed in Mrs. Coffee for a little bit and had a listen. Um, Lovely, lovely you are, Mrs. Coffee. <laughs> I don't know why you were nervous. Just brilliant. Hi, Sh is it uh, Shawana? <laughs> uh, Abby, who else have I not said hello to? Melissa, Sadi, uh, Kenny, hello. Welcome. And Mrs. Coffee, of course. Oh, who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? Everybody. I love it. Welcome. Welcome. To those new, welcome. My name's Belinda. <laughs> Alicia, hello. Alicia's going to help uh, patrons. Um, I haven't posted a lot in the last uh, two weeks, so today Alicia's going to help me with a colour list for patrons. So if you want to give this a go with pencils, I'm going to be using Copics today. So, uh, yeah. Oh gosh, it's still going. More hail. 
Oh, how frustrating. Can you guys hear me okay? I hope you can. I know you can probably hear everything else. <laughs> Hi, Jeremy. Welcome. Hi, Michelle. Welcome. Hi, Sonia. Welcome. Hi, Mystical. Welcome. We've got a few Nancys and a few... Hi, Diamond Dreamer. Welcome. Good, good, good. Hello to the lovely star and Lulu and Connie and Debbie. <laughs> Everyone's just popping in. Good, thank you. Hi, Anna. Welcome. Today I'm colouring up Yana Prosperina. Uh, this little cute little witch uh, is from her uh, fantasy, bleh, excuse me, fantasy dolls to uh, colouring book. She has a couple of versions of the book on Etsy as digital downloads. One's a dark version and one's a light version. I've got some links here. Uh, I've also popped these links in the description as well. So if you want to grab them or you don't catch them here in the chat, because uh, it seems to be running through pretty quick. Oh my goodness! I feel like I'm yelling <laughs> now. Uh, here's a dark version. I know, it's crazy. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, all in the description, remember? Hi, Elaine. Welcome. Uh, there's a light version. There's also a version of it on Amazon as well. So I'll pop that up there too. So if you want to grab it, go for it. Uh, all of these links are in the description as well. <laughs> Holy moly. <laughs> Hi, Beth. Welcome. Hi, Pat. Welcome. <laughs> Look at him go! Hi Nina, welcome! Oh my god! I hope you guys like to hear the rain. That is just flawless. Um, so you guys can see it. Um, my garden looks like snow. My car's in the garage. <laughs> my car is safe. <laughs> Holy moly. Alright, let's have a look at that. You ready? Here we go. See, this is my front garden bed here. And it's full of hail. At least they're not massive sized. <laughs> uh, only a few of them have hit the window. Most of them are hitting down on the ground and in the garden bed. So that's good. But holy. <laughs> um. Okay. It's settled down again. Um. As soon as I pushed the live button, it started. It didn't at Alicia. It, it was perfect before that. And then I pushed the live button and I had this great big boom, boom, boom. And I was like, uh-oh. <laughs> and then here we have it. <laughs> it is wild. You are completely correct. Holy moly. Um, anyway, we're going to color our beautiful witch today. So uh, let's do that. I'm going to be using Copic or Copic, however you want to say it. Uh, I asked the uh, Copic certifier which one it's supposed to be. She said it's both. Uh, some say Copic and some say Copic. So just so you know that. <laughs> Anything you wish you can do. All right. Now I don't have to yell. I can actually be quiet. Oh, the, it was crazy. Uh, we, Because I'm right at the front of my house. So there's a win two windows here. And they were hitting the window. That's what was so noisy. Um... But yes, I think anywhere in the house would have been noisy, right? It was bad. <laughs> My shed should be fine. <laughs> Everything should be fine. It should be fine. I don't know. I, we, we do have a car at the front that's my old car and uh, we are trying to sell it. So hopefully that one's okay. We do have insurance on it though. So if not, well, that's okay. That happens. All right. 
um, shall we get started? I might start on the skin. So um, I've been doing all of these Ennis Witches and uh, I know we're getting all witchy pooed out because we have so many of them, but uh, this one was so cute. She's so sweet. So um, I've decided we're going to do her today. Oh, look, it just got quiet as. I love it. I love it. It's just quiet. Sweet. <laughs> Oh, you're all awesome. Hello. Hello, Shelly. Welcome. All right. So now let's do some uh, coloring. Now I'm using my new rack. So this is all new. I, I, I've got to get used to where everything is. Um, I've just moved it sideways a little bit so I can, uh, so I can uh, get to everything. So hopefully we can find what we're looking for. Luckily, I'm pretty adept at knowing the names. Uh, and the colors so uh, I should be okay with finding them maybe <laughs> oh no Linda's about to get it we'll be safe Linda hopefully it um, doesn't last long it didn't last long here so oh I can still hear a bit of thunder can you hear the thunder can you hear it can you hear the thunder <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh well welcome to everybody thank you so much for coming and um for all of you new guys thanks so much for dropping in uh, i usually do color um color i guess they're kind of tutorials um i i usually explain what i'm doing uh, and uh if you are a patron i am putting the color list uh, of markers that i'm going to be using and also some conversions to other brands so uh, if you are a patron, you can check those out as well. Now, I'm going to have to move this kitty a little bit, I think. I'll just try and <laughs> get them. It's hard, isn't it, to have room here. I'm zoomed out as far as I can go, too. Okay, well, I'm going to start colouring. All right. I need to move you guys so I can see you better. You did that. <laughs> uh, I think this one does also possibly come in a line art version as well. So if you're not into grayscale, uh, you may be able to get it in line art. I'm not exactly sure. Don't quote me on that because I didn't look for a line art version. I just looked for the one that I would be using today. Um, I'm going to be using E04 first to do some shadows. I'm using some Nina today. Yay! I haven't used Nina for a while. That's the paper, by the way. <laughs> and, um... Oh, it's a heap smoother compared to the, uh... To the Strathmore paper that I've been using. So, uh, i got to get used to that again. And uh, don't be scared with markers uh, to go in with some really dark rich shadow colors because they kind of uh, fade out a little bit as you add more color on top so um you want to add as much as you can to get a, as much contrast as you can too contrast makes things look good oh moving it up to do down on the arm down here yana is such a lovely lady and a beautiful artist she has so many beautiful images I've got heaps of her stuff uh, we'll be doing another color along for four weeks next year with her I've already booked her in she also has patreon as well and she does images on patreon and giveaways uh, and things like that too so can check that out there oh that's the birdie on her hand there that's okay I'll just mark around that. And uh, yeah, so how's everyone been doing? This colorathon's been huge. I've seen some awesome stuff going on. Everyone's been busy coloring. Has anyone got anything special going? 
Hi, Mousy Deb. Welcome. Oh, Nina, I love... Are you a printer? A printer, okay. Well, I love Nina, and uh, here in Australia, it's really hard to get. Um, this is Nina Classic Crest Solar White. This is the super smooth 80-pound version. And um, I really wish that I could get it a little bit more readily. I've been trying different uh, types of paper to replace it because I don't think I'm going to be able to get any more, uh, which is kind of frustrating because I really love it. Don't you hate that? It's like when you have a favorite product in the supermarket and they uh, decide that they don't want to sell it anymore and you're stuck trying to find an alternative. Well, that's me. Looking for alternatives. I don't mind um, Express It blending card, but I don't like it as much as Nina. Nina seems to have a smoother finish. Uh, well, I shouldn't say smoother finish. It just sort of the markers seem to blend really well on it. It finishes nicer. Uh, I find with the Express It blending card, I tend to get a little bit of build up and uh, it can look blotchy in some areas. So I tend uh, to go for Nina. See, that's what I like about Nina. It does blend. Even on, on Express It, it blends pretty well too. That would definitely blend. Uh, the secret to blending with them is that you go over the very edge of that dark line repeatedly until it kind of looks fuzzy. Because then what happens is, as you can already see, that's already disappeared. So that was just a line. And I only went over it a couple of times. Just a couple of times on the very edge just to smudge it out. And that's it, done. pretty smart. I like it. Because alcohol dissolves alcohol. So with alcohol markers, when you go over another colour, it uh, desaturates or disperses the other colour and mixes the colour that you're putting in over the top with it. So, it just blends in. Blends in. Hi Charlotte, welcome. Now you got to remember guys, if you have a question for me, put it in caps because I struggle to keep up with the chat. Um, oh no, Pat, please stay safe. Um, so yeah, pop it in because I... Welcome. Yeah, it is good. I love this paper. What pencils, Lily? What are we talking about? Is that for me or someone else? I decided to go with markers today because it's been a little while. And um, markers are so much quicker for me. I can get so much more done in two hours with markers than I can with pencils. His leg is sort of bent up weird here. I think it's sort of bending across her arm, but that's okay. We'll come back in and play around with that later. She's got like a frilly a white thing on her top here. I'm just trying to go around that a little bit if I can. So this is E11 I'm using now over the top of the E04. We do need a shadow under her hand here for the birdie. Just making sure I do that. Just going over that colour. Making sure it's blended out nicely. Oh, hi Catherine. Ah, oh, thank you. Um, pencils, Lulu. Okay, hang on. Let me just... <laughs> hang on, I've got a whole heap of questions then. <laughs> Hi, J-Beth. Welcome. All right, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me catch up. Uh, is it okay to let the layers dry first? Yes, you can. 
Uh, it doesn't matter how long you leave it. If I was to walk away and come back, I'd still be able to blend over the top of this because, what did I say before? Alcohol mixes or activates alcohol. So if it uh, was left to dry, it doesn't matter. Okay, um, what brush tips do you use here? I've been struggling to find many US brands. Okay, so these are the Copic Copic markers. These are Copic Sketch. Uh, Copic Sketch and Copic Chow have both have brush markers. Both have the same brush tip. Oh, let me just bleh. So they both have a brush tip. Brush tips. The only difference between these two is this one holds less than this one only difference no other difference the colors are exactly the same um, you just can get sketch in a huge variety of colors and uh yeah i just here you go do you want to see some photos of our hailstones first here we go look at that which way do i flip that way there you go there's Nani enjoying the hailstones. <laughs> How cute is that? Uh, hubby just brought that in for me. Okay, now did I miss any other questions? Um, which paper is best for pencils was next. Uh, so, yeah, Pippa, I love Copics. They're my favorite, the best brand. Um, awesome. You can use a couple of different types of paper with them. Uh, you are limited with books that have... Uh, double-sided images because the uh, Copics always goes through. Uh, alcohol marker always goes through. Generally you'll find that water-based markers don't go through paper but um, oh, these will. Okay so next was which paper is best for pencils? Um, I like Nina for everything. <laughs> she just eats the eats the uh, hailstone. She loves them. Oh, mystical. I love markers. They're awesome. Okay, so I'm going to continue on. Nani is a dag. A rat bag. I think we've talked about this word before. Uh, she's a, a terror. She gets into mischief. Uh, she loves ice. It's weird. Did you, I didn't know dogs liked ice, but she loves ice. Now, there's a little bit of a shadow over this section of her hand. Um, I'm following along the grayscale here, so I can see where areas are darker or lighter and I'll try to cover over as much of the lines as I can even in the darkest areas also I use a laser printer a uh, laser an inkjet printer Epson and I print it on my paper and it doesn't transfer to the markers if it does it can discolor them slightly this is a lightest marker it's got a bit of discoloration on it but it won't uh, transfer, so you may pick up a little bit of staining, but you should be right from there on. Uh, I love Nina pencils. I love also their new paper that I just brought. I love the Strathmore um, Vellum surface paper. has been awesome uh, for my pencils, which I've actually been using a lot of because I got it cheap. I've been using this with pencils and markers. It is a little bit rougher than you may be used to. So uh, this is also good. And this is actually quite thin too, but I've been using this with watercolor and markers and pencils. So a bit of everything. That's Neo Color started. Obviously it's not, this is all base layer and I've just started to put in details. So. <clears throat> Hi Katrina, welcome. I didn't get to say hello. Captain likes ice cream. Oh, cute. Was a great stream. I agree, Joe Beth. Oh no, get off top chat, people. Get off top chat. <laughs> Hi Kathy. 
So that was part of my Witch Coven <laughs> by Ennis. This is from the Colouring Heaven magazine. I have printed it on my own paper though because I needed a smaller size to fit in my scrapbook, of course. Um, so yeah. <laughs> Uh, I did on Monday do a stream and we coloured, uh, I did a scrapbook for them. So if you want to check that out, it's uh, on my channel there. I'm coming in, oh, I've missed a bit of E11, hang on. Let me just come up here. Too busy talking, you guys. <laughs> All good. All good. I've got to add a little bit of uh, this E11 over the top of the sections here too. Just creating a little bit of a, call it a special K in the eye there, in, in the corners. She actually has a fair bit of shadow on this side because she's got her hat on, so I'm just going to add a little bit more there. All right. Now we go to the next colour. I was wondering how you were going to do the calendar page. Well, that's how I'm doing it. <laughs> with neo colors <laughs> um i will i i had somebody else say that the calendar paper wasn't that great was that you shelly saying that so i've decided that i didn't want to didn't want to print do it in there directly sorry bumping away there kitty cat's in the way i've got e21 and i'm coming over the top of that previous color and every time i come over the top i just Glide over that darkest area, but not too much, but come over the previous colour a few times and then extend out to cover more of the face. Just coming under the eyes a bit now too. <laughs> oh night poor poor welcome too and thank you for coming in to check it out yeah i know it is getting late for you guys there yeah it's like midnight it's only uh three in the afternoon here in australia where it's like afternoon tea time how cool is that? It's just so weird, isn't it? The time doing differences. And uh, when Vicky was asking me uh, what times I was going to stream, um, I forgot to mention that uh, we've had daylight savings here as well. So our time zones changed, and we're like an hour <laughs> ahead now. So we're like GMT plus 11 now, uh, which kind of puts a bit of a spin on things and changes the times up again but we are way in the future <laughs> way in the future what was that Your brother makes didgeridoos? I've never used. Oh, I know somebody who's got one, but I've never. I, I can. I've never used it. It's too hard for me. I struggle with my breathing. Because you're supposed to, you know, blow out out your mouth and breathe through your nose. I just can't do it. I'm just not good at it. <laughs> now my mark is getting a little squeaky because it's possible it needs a bit of a refill but I'm going to try to push it through because I like living on the edge I'll push them to the brink now, I've been using markers for approximately four years now I used to say three years but uh this year is just you know gone been and gone so uh, approximately four years and I love them and uh, all my markers are that old apart from the newer ones that I've brought but um, the only thing that I've done so far on them is to change the uh, brush tips. So they have refills and uh, you can change your brush tips when they get too 
bent and broken and bumped you can tell I need to refill my marker look at the nib it's got no color in it so that one needs to be refilled <laughs> hi Graceland welcome Oh, you guys have daylight savings too. So will that bring us further apart or closer together? Mm. <laughs> e double zero. It's called skin white. I'm coming over the top of all of the previous colours. Just blending it out. Softening off the edge of the darkest colours. And... Uh, just blending it nice and smooth. You can see it just gradually shifting and creating lovely shape. I tend to gravitate towards grayscale I don't know why I do love it no it's not for everybody and that's okay guess what my marker needs refilling sure I can demonstrate how I fill mine I might not be doing it right but I can demonstrate um, I'm actually missing my little tweezers I moved everything last weekend and uh, I couldn't find it anywhere so I'm not sure where my little tweezers have gone but uh, I'll use my fingers I'm gonna have to refill this one anyway just gonna see if it fell into one of my drawers now, I dropped it on a stream and uh, I haven't been able to find them. They've just disappeared. Oh, I'll just use my fingies. That will do us. Okay, so let me get my refill first. It's all moved, so I'm just uh, finding it. Here's a refill for that's E triple zero. I don't know why I got that one. I want double zero. Oh, double zero is empty. Hang on. <laughs> e double zero. This one's actually empty, almost. But we'll finish that one off. I moved my picture because I can make a mess. You can drip directly onto the tip so that's the broad tip you can drip directly onto the tip just on an angle and it will go down into the it just drips down past the nib and down into the uh, fiber core I don't do it because it's messier <laughs> let me just uh, grab a cloth and I made a mess so I don't tend to do that I usually use my tweezers but I don't have any I don't know where they've disappeared to I take the nib out the broad tip nib is easy to take in and out that's why I use that end and uh, I just drip uh, usually up to 15 to 20 drops I do but it depends on how empty they are if you overfill it it will just come out the other end so that's why I tend to take my picture away because sometimes if you overfill it I'm not even sure how many drops I've done I was just going to empty this bottle in there but I'm already starting to get color at the end here so I'm pretty happy with that and then I'm just going to stick my broad tip back in give it a bit of a wipe off and it's done Oh, Catherine, I love them too in that in those books. 
Yeah, it depends on it depends on how you use them and how full they are. I use them all the time, so if I was to sit and uh, drip them, it takes longer to drip it without taking the nip out, nib out. Um, it would take me too long, I think. Uh, but it's up to you personally, whichever way you want. There's no right or wrong way. The only thing is if you do re overfill it, uh, it's going to leak out the other end and you may waste some ink. Um, so yeah, I usually do for the sketch, I do around probably 15 to 20 drops and then for the chow, maybe 10 to 15 drops depending. So uh, it depends. Personal preference as well, how full you want it. Um, they do say that if you keep them fuller, they work better. Um, you do less damage to your nib and things like that. But as I said, I just don't have time to stop and refill them every, you know, 10 minutes. <laughs> um, so the reason sketch, I like sketch mainly because I can hold more ink and they last a little bit longer. So all of the um, skin colors that I use the most, I went and brought sketch in so that I have a larger barrel. Before I go and use the lightest colour, I'm going to add in a little bit of R20. Bye Mystical, thanks for coming. Hi Vanessa, welcome. Okay Kenny. Lulu, look I was the same uh, with them and uh, I actually won a set, a small set of sketch and um, tried them and I absolutely loved them. This is R20 and fell in love with them. So I collected all of the chow first, which are cheaper. So the chow or the smaller barreled ones are only $5 here in Australia and these are around $10. So I collected the smaller ones first and then I gradually filled in with the sketch uh, any blends that I wanted. I'm using E000 now just to go over and finish off the skin. Just blending that uh, 20. I still don't have a full set either. Um, I don't even think, I'm probably over halfway now, but they all said to me, oh, you, you'll definitely uh, want the whole set after you finish your training. So I did the training and I was like, nah, I'm still happy with what I've got. The only colours that I might fill in will be uh, the fluoro colours. I'd like to give them a go. I think they help with a bit of glow effect. Yeah, she's really lightened up, hasn't she? I'm going to do another layer of something. Thank you. You have one Copic. <laughs> Yeah, it took me probably a year to collect the the um, set that I've got now. Let me just pull down my little chart. This is what I have so far. So I've got a few, but there's still a lot of empty gaps there. These are all the fluoro ones here. And uh, there's no uh, greys on this one too. The greys are... I have a fair few greys as well now. Uh, that's Sandy Alnock's hex art chart, hex chart. Um, I've done a video on that too, so. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to use a little bit more. I'm not going to go back in with the darkest colour, I don't think. I think I'll just come back in with E11. Just darken some of these shadow areas up a bit.
and uh, I noticed that a lot of that cheek's actually quite dark so I've just darkened that again thank you is it is it um, Shawana Shawana <laughs> Yes, they have an app. Uh, Copic have an app. Uh, their brand. Um, where's my phone gone? I have a couple of apps actually. Um, there's the official Copic app. And uh, you can go and you can mark in everything that you have. Also, there's a swatch as well, so you can see the different colours and it has a tick next to the ones that you have. It's a good way to keep track of it. Um, there's also a app which I can't remember what it's called. There's another one that's quite good as well, and they have uh, you can put uh, pen there's pencils and markers in there. Depends. I prefer them on my color like to be able to physically see them I get frustrated flicking through my phone so um, I have a picture of my color list in my notes in my phone so if I do go out to buy stuff I can see what I have and haven't got and I use the Copic one that you can get off the Copic website a little bit of uh, E21 Just building up these layers a little bit, making the skin nice and smooth. All right, starting to get there. I think I needed that, just a little bit more colour in there. It was looking kind of white in some areas. Uh, with grayscale too, you might find that you need to build up a little bit more to cover over that grey, which is what I needed to do here on this cheek. It uh, wasn't quite dark enough there. That's looking good. I think I'm going to actually colour over with a little bit of Pam Pastel, I think. I think I need to just get a little bit of that in there and soften it off. It actually doesn't look too bad, but... She's cool. Uh, I use pan pastels a lot actually in uh, skin. So I use a little bit of white. Do you know what? It's so hard to find a clean cloth because I haven't cleaned anything. A clean uh, sponge, I should say. <laughs> this is just titanium white. I just wanted to cover over a little bit of the grey in the cheek there. And just add a little bit more of a highlight on her nose. Oh dear. Oh dear me. This reminds me of Dumbo. I like that. Mm. 
The other product that I like to use sometimes on skin to get a little bit more contrast is the Stabilo Caldefello pencils. Um, they're really handy when coming into doing the darker areas a little bit darker because um, I've got a couple of different pencils that have got nice colours in them. I'm just going to move my cup of tea. I had a little bit left but I was worried I was going to bump it. Done. And uh, I've just got a mono eraser. I'm just going to erase over that dark area there. Okay, I like her. She looks good. Okay, let's do her eyes. Mm. Copic Multi Liner. <laughs> no worries, Catherine. What was the training you spoke about? Okay, Pippa. So here in Australia and in the US, uh, Copic has a certifi sort of, uh, certification <laughs> certification course. There's two different levels. One is just for crafters who want to learn how to use them. And uh, the second one is for people who teach uh, with markers and want to know more in depth detail. So uh, it, it is a little bit more detailed in the second one. It's usually two days. Uh, it's Copic certification course. You can go onto their website and uh, uh, find out more information from there as well. I think they run them randomly throughout. Uh, we hadn't had one here in Australia for like two years and they because uh, the girl who teaches here was pregnant and had a baby so um, we finally did it last year. Linda did it with me. Who's got big teeth? <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm going to use a Copic multi liner so that uh, if I do go over this area again, I'm using a quite a thick one here. Um, if I do end up going back in with a, a marker, I'm not going to smudge it then. I think we went a bit overboard there. That's all good. One. She's got like a cat eye here, hasn't she? Well, if she didn't, she does now. It's like putting eyeliner on. <laughs> uh, so when I did the Copic certification course, um, I already pretty much knew everything they were teaching anyway. So uh, it was really just a formal formalization, I guess, just to say I had them. I think uh, just something I needed to do and have. I don't know why that pupil's bigger than this one. This one should be bigger than that one, but anyway. <laughs> it's nice and dark, isn't it? All right, let's add in some color. I'm going to give her violet eyes today. No, you have to go to the classes. You don't take a test. It's just a class. Yeah, um, that person actually, uh, <laughs> Shelly, that person actually doesn't like me for some reason, but anyway. 
anyway, uh, there's a big story there. I'll tell you about it later. Um, I do uh, classes on Patreon as well. So just like what I'm doing here today. I've got V09. I'm adding in a really nice dark shadow on the top. And then V17. It's very expensive though, I found that. Person does. Uh, and uh, a little bit of V04. <laughs> um, yeah, she didn't want me to do YouTube, that's for sure. Because uh, I'm giving free what she charges people for. But I do a lot of my stuff on Patreon. There are a few that I've done live. And, um... I've done a couple of basic classes on Patreon as well. I got kicked out. <laughs> I got booted and um Yeah, thanks Lily. Uh Graceland, that's the pl person that I'm talking about off from there. <laughs> I only have one tier now. I did have t a couple but uh, it was too much to um too much to keep up with so I just have one it's just five dollars US a month and uh, it covers everything I've been doing one video extra a week for patrons and I try to when I do these these um live videos I try to also post up color lists when I do Copics as well so that uh, you guys can convert and do the same one in pencil But, um, I, the other place you're talking about, they charge $25 a month for one class. Uh, and you still have to buy the image and stuff, of course. Um, I've got. Oh dear. Shelley, why do people think that that's okay? I'm just going to put a little bit of this on the nose too. That's so weird. Who told you? What? <laughs> yeah, um, Graceland, that, the person who does those um, thing. <laughs> I'm not going to say names, but you'll know if you've done classes there before. She doesn't like me because um, 
I started doing this and uh, she said that yeah she didn't want me to do them but um I wanted to do them I want to help people and I don't want to have to charge like you know I charge for on patreon for the extra stuff I do um, but I don't I think that you know you should share what you have <laughs> course that's a problem that was R20 on the lips and uh, I'm just going to add a little bit of RV13 over the top Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. I, I know. I got upset about it to start with, but it's fine now. <laughs> I'm over that. It's been and gone nearly three, four years ago now. Uh, the pen I'm using is actually, it was new at, our, at the art shop here in Australia. Um, it's Pilot Pintor pen. This is the extra fine and it's a pigment ink. This is white and this is from my silly metallic pen that leaked everywhere. <laughs> I have that pen in a couple of different colors. I've also got it in the um, pale orange which is kind of skin colored so um, I, it's good for touching up and things like that. Um, so yeah I've got a little bit of R20 again. I'm just going to come under the eye on the waterline there. Um, but there was a stage when I was promoting her website and um, yeah, I decided that that probably shouldn't be the case and stopped. <laughs> I mean, I, I've taken a f quite a few classes from there. I used to be a subs uh, like subscribe and uh, I paid for $20, $25 a month for one class. And um, I learnt heaps. But to be honest, I actually learnt more from a guy named Christopher Kerry. Um, I did a, just a one-off course of his uh, pin-up girl. Um absolutely loved doing it and he taught uh, I think I think he just sort of he just gave me the realization that you can be rough and you can do what you want with them you don't have to follow a set of rules uh, which is what I had problems with I'm not a rule follower <laughs> thanks Gracelyn um, so yeah I'm not a rule follower so I like to just try new things and um, and Christopher Carey has this amazing way about him. He's so quiet and um, he's got a really monotoned voice. But the things that he comes out with are amazing. And he really taught me a lot about colour and how colour works. Um, and, um, yeah. Yeah, Star, that's who I'm talking about. That's the one that didn't like me. <laughs> Yes, this is Pippa. I do this all the time. This is all I do. Um, so yeah, I I learned a lot from him and I really liked his style. He's got some fantastic stuff. Uh, if you want to check him out, he's awesome. Uh, the course, the class that I did of his, I'll see if I can find the picture. Give me two seconds. Huge folders full of images in here. <laughs> I have 
this massive folder. This is a folder full of pictures I've done over the however many years. I did a couple of courses with him. I did a course called Learn Colouring. And in that, this is my favourite image in that. These are his images too. He draws them. Uh, so this is one of his classes. Um, he just like he just taught so much more. Uh, I think I learned the most from him after doing one class than I did uh, with the other place. <laughs> Uh, also another awesome place for a marker, a, a basic marker tutorial is uh, the Copic Hexart class by, um, by, by Sandy Elnock. <laughs> she does a fantastic class. I've done a whole heap of, um, what do you call them, reviews on these. But this is the Copic Hex chart. Uh, Copic Hex Art class. Uh, at the end of the class you finish off with a little hex art thing and she teaches you all about um, different textures and techniques and things like that. Fantastic class. Best one I've ever done uh, on top of Christopher Carey. I can recommend both of those. In the year that I was with the other place, I learned a little bit. I picked up a fair bit, but these two, heaps more. Um, I can't find... Oh, here it is. My bad. It's in here somewhere. I just felt like with the other place I was paying $25 a month and everything was the same. Same type of images, there was nothing different. They're all cute kind of pretty things and uh, I want something more dramatic and exciting. So this is the one I did with him. There is a video on uh, Graceland. There is a video on Patreon with a whole heap of stuff on Light Source. There's actually about three. Okay, so this is one I did with Christopher Carey. It was a one-off class. Uh, I think it's called Pin Up Pups and Pin Ups. Uh, I this class I learnt so much um, it was so much fun like I really enjoyed it and then I did his land colouring class as well I've done quite a bit of that but not all of it um, so yeah I think um, you just gotta find what's right for you like I don't know Christopher Carey, his name is. Uh, let me see if I can grab his website. Let me just grab. He has YouTube. Um, he doesn't do a lot on YouTube. Most of it's on his uh, Copic Marker Tutorials website. I'm gonna pop the link over. He's awesome. As I said, he's um he's got a really quiet voice and he's got a monotone voice, but um I, I honestly learnt so much about colour and copics through him. There's a realistic eye one on his website that's free. There's a couple of others there that are free too. He used to do giveaways and stuff. He hasn't done anything for quite some time. But the pin-up one, I'm going to send you that now. That's there. Uh, so they're two classes that I highly recommend. And um, also Sandy Alnock. Let me go to her as well. 
because she's awesome. Olnock or Alnock, however you say it. I'm gonna put Hex Art class. She used, actually, that's where I found out about Nina. She uses Nina Classic Crest. Uh, oh, hang on. <laughs> she's got hex charts and she's got hex art class, so they're different. And I'm just trying to find the actual art one. Classes. I've brought a couple of classes from Soundy Elnock too. She's got some uh, awesome classes. We've got different levels as well, so beginners to full on. Trying to find, she's got Copics, pencils, watercolors couple of different ones and I can't find the hex art one. <laughs> uh, these are all online ones too by the way. cheap. I think I got it cheaper than that though. I'm not sure. I can't remember. But this is the hex art one that I did where she teaches you lots of different textures and and uh, things like that. Oh, thanks Lily. Star is already a patron. She is. <laughs> thanks EJ. Alright, so I've posted a couple of links of some that I like better than the others that you were talking about. <laughs> um, so yeah, great. Let's keep, let's move on. I just... <laughs> I was referring people there at one stage, as I said, but um, yeah, it kind of felt a bit, I don't know. <laughs> um, alright, so I'm thinking uh, we gave her purple eyes, uh, we could do purple, purple and black maybe for her. Alright, I've got a bit of V99 and I'm going to come in and do her hat in the shadow areas first. Um, the reason I have little rings on my markers too is to help me remember what ones I have refills for and what ones I don't if you're wondering. So Yana Prosperina, she does, her art is watercolour and it's absolutely amazing and uh, I love that with Copic you can use them like watercolour. Um, I did a bit of a challenge with uh, with Sean uh, with one of Yana's images a little while ago and uh, we had to try to reproduce Yana's original image and it came up really awesome. I loved it. I have like folders and folders full of stuff by the way. tell you how many images I've done in total. Too many. 
too many. Let me just see if I can find the one that I did of Yana's. Too many. There we go. That was one I did of Yana's. So we had to copy her original watercolour one. Uh, it came up awesome. But, uh, Copics can be used like paint, which is cool because you can mix them. Make nice blends with them. Wrong colour. Where did my marker go? There it is. <laughs> oh, it went back into the... Uh, a lighter colour which I'll probably do next anyway but uh, V99 first get in some dark black areas but it's not black is it it's purple it's uh, called aubergine Aubergine. You want to see some of my early colorings? Sure. Does everyone else want to see that? <laughs> I can show you a couple. Um, actually, the one in the... I haven't dated them all. That's my problem. This one was an early Patreon one. These are mostly markers. This one's pencil. Pencils. That was a one I did for a, what's her name? Money Gates with the um, Chameleon pens, there's some of the some earlier ones. Oh, what else have I got here? Uh, about four years ago, whoops, about four years ago I started colouring, so it's been quite a long time. Actually, maybe five years ago now, because uh, I didn't have Copics for the first year. I can't show you some of my first ones because they're not shareable, meaning that they weren't, um, they've got copyright so I can't share them. This is a Nikki Burnett one. Uh, that was done really early. Uh, I've done a couple of Nikki's actually. There's another one of hers. This was a lady who did uh, some grayscale photos of hers and she asked me to colour one of them. That was one of my first animals. I can't remember her name and I apologise to her. It's another one. Um, <laughs> there isn't really a lot in here. I don't think I. I don't think I'm. I mean, I've got a, a bit better, but. Um, I don't think I've got any really bad, horrible ones. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, that I can actually show. This was a Christopher Carey one, actually. Just This was a little class that he did. Um, that came up awesome. That was done in 2017, so that was two years ago. Hi, Helen. Um, no, don't, don't look at what I've done. I've... I grew, I did art at school and I was quite crafty. I did scrapbooking and other bits and pieces earlier. So um, I've always loved it. But you shouldn't measure yourself up against others. No, don't do that. Um, but yeah, a lot of my first ones... Oh, actually... Actually, I can show some of my practice ones, my very, very first ones, because they're in a Joanna Basford book. 
I don't colour Joanna Basswood anymore because I get so frustrated with it. It takes me so long. <laughs> Hang on, I know I have got some yucky ones. I just can't show you the other ones because I don't have a, like their images that I can't share. I can. <laughs> Do you want to see one of my very first colorings in an official coloring book? <laughs> I've got a couple here. Okay, this one was early. There you go, that's how I used to color. I found one <laughs> this is one of my very first ones uh, and I colored it with just uh, Marco Rafine uh, and it looks like a little bit of maybe some ink tents um, I do a few in this book actually let's have a flip through because these were because this is the only book I had at the start um, Here's one of my first ones. <laughs> uh, that's with, uh, look how old this is, it's all yellowed. Um, that was Ink Tense. That's just Marco Rafine pencils. Uh, here you go, there's a basic one, one of my first ones. Just block colouring. Uh, and then I started to get a little bit better this is another early one <laughs> I started to get a little better and I did a couple of really nice ones in here that was a later one let me just find I had another one here somewhere there you go these are two of my later ones there's another one um, but yeah, I stopped colouring Joanna because it was too hard. I, I, it took me too long. So that was some of my very first ones. There you go. I have come a long way from those. <laughs> I have, I have. But um, some of my other really early ones, I can't tell you the artist, so I can't. Um, show them publicly um, but I didn't think that I would be doing something like this when I first started coloring so I didn't think oh maybe I should you know <laughs> I don't know a lot of my first ones were just uh, practice I guess I did a lot of grayscale I liked grayscale um, and uh, I did a lot of my own pictures coloured like my own photos I've always been good at choosing colors, Charlotte. I've always liked color, so um, f even from the beginning. But it's still it's still something that you learn more and more. I've got V09 coming over the top now and extending further out, making it a little bit brighter. Um, But yeah, I've always liked colour. 
and I think that's comes down to the scrapbooking side of it too when you're scrapbooking you still need to you know you've got your photos and you need to be able to match colors to that and um, I think that did help a lot with that kind of thing uh, also I did uh, worked in fashion for a little while so in retail so I think that helps as well these are just things that you pick up in that kind of industry as well Also, uh, I worked in pharmacy when I was younger, and uh, we did makeup, makeup courses and things like that. So, get to learn how to do professional makeup. So, I think you just sort of pick things up in your travels, and uh, I've used them and applied them here. sun's come out now. No more storm. <laughs> no worries Nick and Tina. Thanks so much for dropping in. Thanks for uh, being involved and also I popped into your stream a little bit earlier too. I haven't been able to hang out too much because I uh, still got stuff going on here at home. But um, yeah what is the time to? Oh I probably should get a wiggle on. I do want to try and finish this today. Um, on Monday, I'm going to be doing something else, so I don't know what yet. I feel like I need to get away from um, witches. Witches. Uh, so, I don't know. What do you guys reckon? Got any preferences for pages you might like to see that's not a witch? <laughs> I know, squeak, squeak, squeak. It's getting empty. They start to squeak more when they're empty. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Moving to V17. I forgot this little bit here. You're working those markers hard if you can hear them squeaking. <laughs> it's uh, 4 20 p.m. here. Whoever said it, <laughs> it was 12 20 a.m. there. Wow. No, it's uh, afternoon here. No, I can't use V17. I need to refill it. And uh, this one's a bit messier. Just going to pull out the nib. Actually, the um, V17, V15, and V12 were actually some of my very first markers that I brought. So these are probably some of my oldest ones. That one was messy fill. I did that one off camera because it's just too messy and too dark. If I splotch that anywhere, look, messy. You've got a coven to complete. You've got till the 17th of November. You've got like how many more weeks? Three weeks still. Plenty of time. Don't rush me. <laughs> Don't rush me. I'm going to keep this hat nice and dark. So, um, 
I'm only going to leave a small section here for my lightest colour. Just trying to get the shape of the hat. I'm glad I refilled that, it definitely needed it. The other thing is too, I haven't used a particular colour for a little while. Uh, it can get a little bit sticky and need just a little bit of a refresh, uh, especially in the nib. So adding some fresh ink in there can help do that too. Yeah. V15. I love purple. Purple is my favourite colour. <laughs> These ones are smoother because they're fuller. And as it comes out over that drier area, it squeaks. <laughs> This one needs refilling too. I'm not having much luck, am I? It's probably because I use these more than anything. That's okay. I'm finding that um, I'm now building out my refill set, so I'm just continually buying, you know, every month or so I'll buy a few refills, so this month I brought some bee colours because I use a lot of bees but I don't have heaps of refills of bees so what else did I buy this month? I brought a couple of greens as well Need to add another colour in there. It's not blending off quite as nicely as I want. So I like V04. It's kind of bright. Um, so I'm going to come over with that as well. Nice and bright. I should have looked up the original image for this to see what Yana did with it. She's done some awesome images. I love her originals. Build them up, build them up, buttercup, build them up. <laughs> build em up, build em up. How much longer it does? Oh, thanks, Lily. That's awesome. double I think the size so uh, I'm just going to add a little bit of the V17 over that get rid of that desaturated kind of spotty look um, approximately double they're not quite double the size but approximately oh it's beautiful I think I'm going to do black in her necklace though so uh, I'm going to use oh, black 100. Just coming in around her neck. And 
And uh, I want to leave a little bit of a highlight there. So I'm going to use, oh, I don't know, C7. Just in there. Thank you so much, Lily. Always buying refills. I feel like I should have them all. <laughs> I know, I'm the same. I've got all, when I was putting them into my great big case thing over here, um, I was actually putting them, I've done them in order, so, and I've left spaces for the ones I need. And I'm looking at it going, oh, I actually need quite a lot of refills. <laughs> Night, Kenny. Thanks so much for coming over. Drop it in. This thing, uh, stream, uh, these streamer thons are quite fun. But they do make you really tired. <laughs> Abby. <laughs> Oh, they do make you tired. All right, now let's go down to her clothing. Uh, I'm going to use that B100 and uh, just put that into her. I don't know what it is. It's like a blouse or something she's wearing here underneath her little dress. Maybe it's part of her dress. Who knows? I've just scribbled it in there because um, I want to put some of those lighter areas with that C7 again. Oh, thank you so much, Shawana. Is that my saying it right? Shawana. Let's add a couple of little spots of this through the top section. And I'm going to add some white... Uh, white let's use that pigment ink one paint pen is fine I just made sure I've covered over all of that nicely I just smudged a little bit of that in the highlight section there as well all right and uh, we're going to do the same color in her top here as we did in the hat so we'll start with the v99 I'm pretty sure that is a part of her puffy sleeve so we'll just go for it shall we just go for it. The other thing with Nina, uh, you can you can have a little bit of bleeding, so sometimes you have to be careful how close and how much you put in uh, delicate areas because it can spread. The more ink that you put on the page, the more it can spread. Sure, this leg's kind of shaped a little weird. <laughs> so, uh, I'm just kind of guessing here where I think things might go. You know what? I do that a lot. Guesstimate is what I call it. <laughs> There we go. I've just kind of done a bit of a rough, like, I reckon I could put this down here as well. Just to separate those fingers a little bit. How have we done? Pretty good. I 
a beginner with just markers or a beginner with coloring um, uh, Pippa I have a couple of beginner classes on patreon and we talk about uh, I did a bit of a mentor thing not that I had much luck with it don't think it's what people were thinking but anyway um, <laughs> and I did a couple of videos on light source and um, things like that at, at the very start but um, I found that following and copying tutorials like this one the most valuable because I could see uh, where like putting the shadows and things went and um, what colors were used and things like that I mean and that's how a lot of famous painters learn how to paint they copy famous artists and um, it's just how you learn doing 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 practicing trying different papers trying different products not sticking to one product because you might get so frustrated with it because it doesn't work um, but it might not be the better one to start with so uh, check out reviews Uh, listen to people who have been coloring for a long time and have products that they use uh, all the time because they're likely to be the better products to use and you're less likely to get frustrated with them too that way I think that was one of my biggest things when I first started coloring I would look at all these images and think how do they do that and I couldn't seem to achieve them with what I was using um, and it wasn't until I started like I brought a better brand in pencils that I went oh that's what was wrong the whole time I just was using pencils that couldn't do what um, I was trying to do so um, you really do have to learn your mediums and if something doesn't work try something else I brought my first set of pencils I brought was yeah exactly that's what was happening with me Pippa I found I brought some micro refrain I started with pencil obviously but I started by buying micro raffine pencils um, they're not horrible but I couldn't blend like in that in here <laughs> here we go I'll just show you in this one I couldn't um, like here, yeah, this page, look how scratchy it is. Like I couldn't blend with them. Um, I struggled to get like a blend from pink to yellow. It doesn't, you can still see from pink to yellow, there's a line there. Like I struggled with getting the pencils to layer, um, especially on the paper too. Like I didn't even think of that when I was doing it. <laughs> I thought I was just hopeless. I couldn't do anything. Um, turns out I could it was just that I wasn't using the right the right products to do it I think it's are you talking about with pencils now or are you talking with I'm coming over the top of that now with the V09. Go um, have a look at some of my, I think the best place to start is our monthly colour alongs. Those videos are really in depth. Each session is a uh, two hours and um, we talk about blending and things with pencils. In fact, I think probably one of the best 
colour along videos I've done was Christine Karen's Rowan Fairy and I think that was my very first official colour along too actually so I'm probably not as interactive <laughs> as I I think I've gotten a little bit better I do struggle with interaction because I'm concentrating um, <laughs> But uh, my Patreon videos obviously are a little bit different because I can record them and then I can voice over them. Uh, which makes it a little bit easier explaining what I'm doing. But um, my first set of pencils, after my marker refrains, I decided uh, I was looking on the art shop website, the art shop in Bayswater, and they had... This was years ago. They had a special on, um, I need to fill this marker. They had a special on Polychromos pencils, the full set. Yes, Shelley. I think a lot of people did learn grayscale there too. Um, and I brought a packet, a, a, a full set of um, Polychromos pencils and I never looked back. Um, and that's what those later, those later colouring pages in the Joanna Basford book were with the Polychromos pencils. So, eh, I made a mess, look. <laughs> I have to clean it up. I can't leave it like that. right give it a go like I had so many good people who encouraged me to do it live and I'm so glad I did uh, but these ones this one was done with polychromo so it's a little bit better when it comes to blending um, and this one as well uh, but I think the thing that I lacked or didn't understand earlier on was contrast um, you need to have dark and you need to have light my husband always says to me, because he loves art too, he always says, make your darks darker and your lights lighter. And uh, it creates contrast and it makes everything look so much better. Um, and it's why I put white gel pen on an image at the end. And I usually go a little bit overboard, but <laughs> it just makes the picture. <laughs> I'm just cleaning my marker up with a little bit of, oh gosh, the outside of the lids. 32. Also when I was first starting out I printed smaller images so I didn't feel like they were too overwhelming. I found that looking at a Joanna Basford image made me freak out. So uh, I had to stop looking at Joanna Basford images. <laughs> they freaked me out too much um, Jasmine Becker is one of my favourite artists so I have did heaps of her in the beginning I think that's a bit of hair flicking out there so I'm just going to try and leave a bit of a gap also I did some um watercolor classes with Anna Mason and that helped me heaps with color too and contrast and things like that. Mm. It's so good having new people because I get to tell my story again. I like talking about myself. It's pretty much all we do here on streams, don't we? <laughs> oh, thanks, Lisa. Is it Lisa or Lisa? Because I know that it's spelt with a Z, but... <laughs> awesome! 
I think that, um, oh, Vanessa, welcome. My daughter's just turning 18. Uh, we're actually colouring one of her images next month. I'm pretty excited. Uh, we're just trying to figure out how we can sell it, though. Uh, it's really awkward because, you know, she's she's not even 18 yet, so she doesn't have a PayPal account or anything like that. But um, I wanted to be able to sort of, you know, even if we sell it for a dollar, um, she can still get something out of her effort. Um, so, yeah, I'm still trying to figure that out. <laughs> but um, she loves art. Got some V17. I never thought that I was good at art though, I have to admit. Um, I don't really like drawing that much. But um, I've learnt so much from colouring that I've actually been able to do my own stuff, which is kind of awesome. Um, so I did a puppy dog and I've done a, an eye and I've done some crystals and I've done a few different things now which I probably would never have done if I hadn't have practiced. <laughs> so yeah, watercolour. done a few watercolour. Gives you a bit more confidence to branch out and do different things. Now we're leaving a little bit of uh, white in here because we want to make it look like it's creased. So to do that, we're going to put contrast in by having light and dark areas. So the darker areas are where the creases of the clothing are and then the lighter areas is what cl is closer to you. And uh, that shows that the f there's folds in the material. And I'm running out of that color too. Anyway, V04. Oh, Pippa, that's good. Hey Nick and Tina, welcome back. <laughs> Hi Zeely, I did just see you there. I'm sorry, I was uh, off in another another world, the nether world, the colour world. <laughs> Night Vanessa. <laughs> off in the colour world. I've met so many friends in the colour world. It's been fantastic. I actually met someone who was kind of already related to me, always with someone who's kind of related to me, which was really cool. Um, it's so weird. Oh, shh. Stop it. Squeak, 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 squeak. Week. I'm just going to fill this one up too. My husband uh, is a sign writer by trade, so he uh, did an apprenticeship in sign writing. And uh, I never ever thought that I compared to him, ever. <laughs> and now he tells me, oh, you're such a bitch, how do you do that? <laughs> Yeah, he calls me a B-arch. <laughs> An itch with a capital B. <laughs> I still think he's better than me. My grandmother was really arty. And my grandfather... And uh, I got a lot of encouragement from them. It's good to encourage your kids if they're creative. Because um, I know that some people don't think that art is a, a job. <laughs> and uh, I think that can make it hard for some people.
I think it's a job. I certainly think you can make money from art. And everybody has such different tastes, like, you know, everybody's not the same and that's a great thing about art, isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it? I know, I know, I should be finished. I'm sorry, I'm not finished. I'm nowhere near finished. I've still got hair and, uh, oh, we need to do up here. We'll do this black. The black. No one's after me though, are they? I don't think anyone's after me. Loretta, how, who says things like that? My nana and grandpa, they retired quite young um, and they retired to selling beautiful pottery at markets and they made a living out of it. My grandfather and my nana used to crack me up though because my nana did a lot of the pottery um, and my grandfather would just put like he would he would throw a slab of um clay on the you know on the bench and a few hours later he would come out with this absolutely stunning uh light shade stand you know like and my nana would be like are you serious you know like he just found things like that so easy to do. He was a an oil pastel uh, oil painter. He painted oil with oil paints, and uh, also uh, he did pastels, dry pastels. So uh, he did a lot of landscapes and things like that, which was absolutely beautiful. So um, so nice. I'm just using the uh, white paint pen here and just adding some of those highlights in there just so it looks like it's creased material a little bit there. Contrast again. Now what? Let's do some green G46 here. Great thing about grayscale is that uh, going over it with marker, the grayscale areas show through, so you can go over with the same color and still have some depth in darker areas and light in lighter areas, which is cool. I'm doing it again, and I'm just going to guess where these were because can't see them in this background area. It's all very blurry. That's okay. Just don't let anyone tell you that you can't do something. That's my thing. It's kind of what happened with that person that told me that, you know, I can't do what I'm doing because it's what she's doing. And um, I was like, if I let every single person tell me that I couldn't do something when they told me that, I'd never do anything in my life. And why should we do that? That's not fair. It's not. <laughs> Children, my child is watching right now. Do what you want to do. I've always said that. Uh, 
I'm using G28 to add a little bit of depth in there as well. Lucy has been doing calisthenics for years, that's her creative outlet. I think everybody needs a creative outlet. It doesn't necessarily mean art, but something that they can do that allows them to be themselves. <laughs> I like that name, but lazy crafts. <laughs> I've done a little bit of orange. Why? 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 Thirty-eight. <laughs> Didn't want to come out then. I think I need a little bit darker though. Let's do some Y R sixteen. That's a bit better. I'm going to do a yellow flower. Some Y17. And some Y11. This time I'm going to use the Pasca pen. Did you just finish another one, Helen? Helen. <laughs> and uh, just the big one I'm using just to put some dots in here. And uh, make them look like little white flowers. I think we need a little bit of uh, a smaller one in the middle of this. Pop a little bit of a highlight on there too, just to bring it off the darker colour. Good. It's good. Uh, I see heaps of stuff that I wish I could be like, but you can't let it get to you. You just gotta move on and enjoy your creative process. You're good enough. Now I'm not going to do that bit. I need to do the background for that. Uh, her hair. Mm, I think we might do some blondie kind of coloured hair. Uh, let's go with some E18 first. I know I've been dreaming about witches too. Might be a little bit too dark. Not too bad. The time I come over it with the lighter colours, I think we'll be right. Let's go with some E55.
Mm, I think the E18 might be too dark. I can't blend it out. So we'll just have some darker sections. Doesn't want to blend out for me. It's one thing I like about Yana's images, she puts these white dots on hair and I really like it. It's a nice little trait. And you know what it does, peoples? Just adds contrast. <laughs> It makes those darker colours look darker. I've almost finished guys. I'll just uh, do this hair and uh, I might do a quick, perhaps not a marker background. I think we might just do, got to be careful on this paper though. It doesn't do well with water based stuff. Could possibly do pastel though. Pastel's really cool with uh, markers too because pastels you can uh, <clears throat> you can erase it off the actual image so you can go anywhere you need to and then just erase the area on the image that you may have gone over. <laughs> I think I need to add something uh, a little bit lighter over these dark brown areas so I've got a little bit of E15 slightly lighter just got brown hair now not blonde it's light brown <laughs> gonna sneeze I'm not very being very um, technical with the hair today. I'm just laying in the colour roughly. Um, it depends. Like this is a totally different style to like something like Christine Karen's. Actually, it's a little bit neater and needs some nice, you know, neat lines. I've just kind of made that hair like an orangey blonde now. <laughs> it's alright. It's all alright. Whatever you do is alright. <laughs> it's just a little bit harder to, uh, I guess, uh, make a colour list and do conversions when I decide to change things halfway through. <laughs> It's all good. It's all good. <laughs> Isn't that right, Alicia? We figure it out. Alicia is my daughter and uh, she helps me with colour lists as well. She does a bit of the admin stuff for me because they just get so behind having to do color lists and things she just gives me that freedom to do a little bit more of this creative stuff yeah I think I'm gonna go back in with that E15 and just do a little bit of a flick of hair there and here I think this might be a little bit of sleeve down here. I'm just going to go around that there. It'll do. <laughs> All right, so now I've done that, I want to come in with a lighter color, perhaps some E51. 
and just uh, go over these areas that were on the outside there. And I'm almost finished and I'm so glad that no one's behind me because gosh I would be rushed. No, picked up the wrong colour. Lucky I looked at it before I laid it down. Looks kind of weird down here, doesn't it? So, white paint pen. Give her some spriggy bits, <laughs> flyaways. Do you know what I worry about when I do things like this? I worry that it's going to get too boring because we do the same thing or colour the same way and I think people will go, oh, I'm bored, that's boring. So I try to mix it up a little bit and then just hope that people like it. <laughs> Better to ask forgiveness. <laughs> Adding those dots back in now. Oh dear. Naughty. It leaked. <clears throat> which pen which pen which brand which pen come on oh thank you <laughs> thank you <laughs> this pen this is a Posca pen paint pen and this one is a Pinto Pilot paint pen is that what you're asking is that the pens and I'm gonna I actually might do a few but I'm gonna use the littler one this time this is also Posca, and uh, I'm just going to put a couple of those. No, I need the bigger pen, it's not big enough. Add a couple of those bigger splotches on, on her hat here as well. Make it interesting to look at. And uh, Birdie, let's give him a, let's give him an orange foot. Beak. I don't know what colour he's going to be yet. he should be some sort of purple bird. Mm, let's change purples though. EV13. It's a purpley blue. Oh! Ah! You poop. That was that blob that just blobbed out. I just smudged it. It's alright. We'll disguise it later. <laughs> How to disguise your mistakes.
go into denial, they're not really mistakes. I meant to do it. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, what else have we got? We've got some BV02. We definitely need to put some white in this bird. And a little bit of BV. This is a purp more purple. BV11. I'm making sure I'm coming over all of it because it's a little bit more purple than blue, this one. Squeak, 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 squeak. And because I've done a fair bit of colour in that area now, kind of looks like a bit of a dull blob so we're definitely going to need to add some white into there scribble this is the white the pigment one and uh, I just like to scribble it on and just smudge it out so it's not quite too defined just sort of smudges in with the paper little scribble here and there around the outside of that wing just wanted to lighten it up a little bit I'm just popping in some shape Couple of those I've just left there show a bit of texture but he's quite cute I like him now let's just fix this up add a little bit of the what that will do I still think he's a little bit too too dark He's starting to take shape now. Agree? Some little white shiny claws. And uh, I think I then need to, need to do the background, and then I'm going to put some more white dots everywhere. So for the background, I think it needs to be dark. I don't know. What do you guys think? What brand is this? Is this what we're talking about? Because I keep getting lost with what brand it is. Ah, oh, thanks Vicky. Posca. And this is a Pilot Pintor. And uh, back... Ooh! <laughs> yeah. 
She's got no eyebrows. She needs eyebrows. a little bit weed shaped but better better but I have stuff all over my desk I don't know where I am Stuff to who? I don't know where I am. <laughs> Good night, Nick and Dana. Um, I I don't know. Should we do black or should we do purple, yellow, green? Hmm. totally stumped on a background here uh, maybe maybe orange black you reckon I don't know I'm thinking black but oh let's do black and then we can just yeah I'm gonna use special black though don't ask I don't know what the difference is I was going to use pan pastels, but um, I don't know, I, I, I don't know, I didn't, I could use black. I think with the special black and the normal black, I think the one of them is warmer than the other, is the only difference, um, but my black doesn't do very well on large areas it goes a bit sticky I'm not sure why it might be I don't know it just might be too old I might just need to replace it but uh, it gets a bit sticky when I come out and do these areas so I tend not to use it much because of that um, black's empty <laughs> really is Um, my daughter's on Instagram and she actually posted, she does digital art and normal art. Uh, she has an Instagram which is Faith Rose Art. Faith Rose Art. How's that? Faithful Girl and Faith. That's where I got Faithful Girl from. No, not really. Um, a Faithful Girl just came from, I don't know. I've just had, it's just one of those usernames that you have. And that you use for everything. <laughs> uh, so Faith Rose Art. And uh, she just posted up a bell the ballerina. Uh, she's also she's used using in, in the colouring page. Um, she's so very clever. But she was sketching them first, so actually drawing them in her sketchbook before she does them in the digital world she brought herself a digital tablet uh, to do her digital art on I'm so proud of her really she she's she spends too much money but she um, she's brought some good stuff Very proud of all of my babies, they're all wonderful. 
Alicia won a most improved for calisthenics this year award. So she got a trophy last night. All these little bits take time to go around, hey? Almost done. Yeah, I'm not giving up. I, I know that I'm like 20 minutes over time. But I'm not giving up yet. <laughs> we got some finishing to do. It looks a little strange if you just sort of stop. <laughs> oh, Helen, thank you so much for joining me. Um, I love having you guys here. That's fantastic. Oh, I'm so excited. So Monday, uh, I'm going to do another image. Did anyone give me any ideas? I, I don't think I looked up at the time when I asked of what to colour, but on Monday but then Tuesday we've got May and Laura and Sammy we're gonna have some fun with uh, with I don't know Chris Lopez we're gonna be coloring I don't know what we're gonna do just have a bit of fun have a laugh have a bit of a dress up And that's on Tuesday. <laughs> yeah, it's it's Faith, the other one, the middle one. She's just about to turn eighteen. She's got the drawing skills. She's also into music. She's been she taught herself how to play the the uh, ukulele and the keyboard and the u u columba. Is that what it's called? The columba. And uh, she just convinced me to buy her a little drum set <laughs> for her birthday. Um, electronic drum set. But I said I had to get something arty as well. So. <laughs> uh oh, running out again. I'll have to do some flyaways outside of the hair here as well, I think. With that white marker. I 
But I love the fact that uh, with grayscale, now that we've taken away all of those lines, I don't know, it just looks so much more... Is it realistic? Is that the word I'm looking for? Because they're not really realistic. They're, they're cartoons or whimsical kind of things, but I don't know. Black was a good pick. Let's fill out these uh, white sections. I'm just going to add a little bit of more G28 just to extend on a couple of those areas that I cut off. A little bit. I'm done. Let me just put my Posca pen in, guys, and then you can all run away and go to bed. And I can go and uh, eat some dinner. Alessia's cooking tonight. <laughs> we have nights. Uh, I'm just going to put a few spots in over here. Kind of make it look a little bit like those little white flowers that you can get on, you know, yeah wedding flowers and I don't know what they're called guys somebody will probably know what it's called for some reason it I, I keep thinking of tool or something but I don't know maybe that's not what it's called I'm just about to finish. Uh, this is the uh, this is uh, Yana Prosperina. It's from her Fantasy Dolls Volume Two book. I'm just doing a couple of flyaways with the white paint pen, just so that it doesn't look quite so out of place. The black background. And uh, you know what, I think I'm just going to put a couple of white highlights around the hat here. And then I think we are done. Big thanks to Alicia for doing colorless for patrons. I'll uh, go through it and... Uh, check if there's anything on there I need to update and um, I'll pop it on Patreon hopefully today or hopefully today I'll have a quick look at it now um, should be good yeah that's good I'm glad I added that a bit of bright white to that put a bit on there Doesn't have to be perfect, but just a couple of lines just to help separate that a little bit. It's good. It's good.
big thank you everyone i will see you not tomorrow but the following day uh, i'm skipping tomorrow got lots of stuff on um and i need to catch up on some patreon stuff for my lovely lovely patrons big thank you to those that gave me super chat today i'm super 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 grateful for it and um i have loved meeting all you new people i look forward to seeing you all again <laughs> and thank you to my legend uh, regulars there that have come along again and again and again. Uh, you make me happy. Thank you very much. Bye, everybody. Happy Spooktober. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Time's up. <laughs>